Hi, welcome to Press Play Picture House and today we have another five ancient animal blind packs. We have already collected 50 out of the possible 81 which we have placed in our activity collectors album. Number 55, Scaphites. Scaphites was a type of ammonite, a close relative of today's octopuses and squid. It lived in a coiled shell, caught prey with its tentacles and jet propelled itself by squirting out water. As Scaphites shell grew, the opening for its head got tighter so they often starved to death. We already have Scaphites. Number 4, Anomalocaris. Anomalocaris was probably the top predator in Cambrian seas. Finding prey with its large eyes, it had no legs, but swam by flexing its segmented body and waving the flaps on its sides. We already have Anomalocaris. Number 19, Myxosaurus. Myxosaurus was an early ichthyosaur. They lived throughout the world's oceans in the Triassic. Ichthyosaurs probably used bursts of speed to chase or surge through shoals of fish. Our sticker is Ankylosaurus. Number 76, Gastornis. This flightless bird was as tall as a man and had a head as large as a horse's. Its beak was gigantic and its bite was powerful. No one knows if it tore flesh, snapped bones or cracked nuts. We already have Gastornis. Number 5, Hallucigenea. Hallucigenea was strange looking. At one end was a blob that may have been a head but it had no eyes or mouth. Along its worm-like body were rows of sharp spines and fleshy tentacles. We already have Hallucigenea. Number 63, Protoceratops. Protoceratops had a wide neck frill. It also had broad feet and wide spade-like claws used to dig burrows. One group of young Protoceratops was found preserved together in a burrow in the sand. We already have Protoceratops. Our sticker is Monolophosaurus. Number 48, Ornithocerus. Ornithocerus was a large pterosaur. It had a massive head and lots of small pointed teeth to pierce its prey. A bony bump at the end of its snout was probably used for display. We already have Ornithocerus. Number 32, Compsognathus. Running on the tips of its toes, this nimble little chicken-sized predator could have easily outpaced fast-moving prey. Scientists think that fuzzy feathers covered most of its body to keep it warm. We already have Compsognathus. Number 3, Opabinia. Looking like an alien from a science fiction film, Opabinia had five eyes on stalks and a long flexible trunk tipped with a grasping claw. Broad flaps along each side of its body may have helped it swim. We already have Opabinia. Our sticker is Triceratops. Number 67, Two Pandactylus. Two Pandactylus is thought to have had a crest on its head made of lightweight soft tissue. It was almost certainly for display, either to impress rivals of the same sex or to interest potential mates. Some scientists thought the crest may have been brightly coloured. Number 23, Eudimorphodon. Eudimorphodon was one of the earliest of the flying reptiles called pterosaurs. About the size of a crow with a long bony tail, it had bat-like wings that were capable of both flapping and gliding flight. We already have Eudimorphodon. Number 35, Leeds Ichthus. The largest bony fish that ever lived? Maybe. Despite its size, it was a filter feeder, not a hunter. 
It gulped in huge volumes of water then squirted it out while sifting shrimps and other tiny animals with its gills. Our sticker is Mosasaurus. Number 34, Lyra Pluridon. Lyra Pluridon was a powerful swimmer capable of short bursts of speed. It may have had an excellent sense of smell enabling it to hunt in deep waters where prey was difficult to see. We already have Lyra Pluridon. Number 50, Carithosaurus. This duck-billed dinosaur was named for its crest, which looked a bit like an ancient Greek Corinthian helmet. But this dinosaur didn't go into battle, it probably just foraged in woodlands for leaves. Number 43, Diplodocus. Diplodocus is the longest dinosaur known from a complete skeleton. With an incredibly long tail, as long as the rest of its body and a neck almost three times as long as a giraffe's. Diplodocus may have moved its tail at very high speed to produce a whip-like crack for scaring off predators. We already have Diplodocus. Our sticker is Brachiosaurus. We have now collected 54 of a possible 81 of these ancient animal activity cards. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to Press Play Picture House, click on the links for more dinosaur videos. See you next time.